Joining us now from Raw Travel is Robert Rose. Welcome to the show, Robert. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for having me. I love to travel. You love to travel. But I think what you've done is extraordinary, and that's because you are interviewing everyday people about an everyday journey and really kind of taking it to the next level. What started this for you? Really, when I was living, you know, I'd been traveling for a bit um, previously, but for quick trips. But when I started living abroad in Colombia, South America, I had the opportunity in my early 40s to do that. So I kind of had this opportunity 20 years later than maybe other people have. And I just noticed that the type of travel I was doing through long term travel was not reflected on television uh, at all, uh, what little travel content you could find. So I wanted to fill that void and let people know that travel isn't just for, you know, wealthy people, famous people, and that the most fulfilling experiences don't come from uh, necessarily going to, you know, um, uh, these fancy, you know, tourist driven places that, you know, when you get off the beaten path and you meet the uh, real people, you'll have a more authentic travel experience. So I want to kind of spread that message and hopefully inspire people to travel and have the same kind of experiences that I had, because it really changed my life. Now, speaking of changing lives, uh, what was that moment where you decided to help other people get their passport, help people like travel internationally, you know, and then all of a sudden you came into a television show. So Walk us through that step-by-step -step thing. Like, I know it just didn't happen overnight. Oh, not at all. Uh, as a matter of fact, I've been working in TV most of my career. And I think when I started traveling, I was on hiatus from my previous television project. Uh, I had sold the previous ones. I had an opportunity for the first time in my life not to go through the daily grind and just do some self-reflection. And travel is perfect for that. And what basically happened is it just changed my life and I wanted to change other people's lives. And, you know, for me, it was kind of a journey where I found that when I put the focus on other people as opposed to myself, because there were so many people who um, throughout the world who don't have nearly as much as we have. I call it the luck of geography from just being sheer luck born in a place like the United States. Um, yet they are some of the most genuine, awesome people I've ever met. And I just want other people to, to feel that, to be able to feel that, to not be afraid of people who um, maybe are, you know, poverty stricken um, and to understand that there are ways to give people dignity and that you may end up becoming friends as I have with some of these folks uh, for life. And uh, it's just been an incredible experience. And I just wanted to share that. Well, speaking of making a difference in the lives of others, you went to the Ukraine. Robert, that was so loving and so giving of you to be able to do that. Uh, could you walk us through a little bit of like what happened there and, and the receiving, you know, that you were able to do? Yeah, well, Ukraine and I go back to 2012. That was my first trip to Ukraine when I was uh, just traveling prior to raw travel, actually, um, in in uh, Eastern Europe. And I, I wanted to go to Ukraine. I had been to Russia. I'd heard a lot about Ukraine. So I went and had a really good experience, had the opportunity to return in 2019, which was after their 2014 revolution. So for a lot of people who aren't intimately um, familiar with Ukraine's history in 2014, they had a Russian backed leader. They kind of overthrew him democratically. And there was uh, a lot of loss of life in that. They called it the Maidan revolution. And before that was the orange revolution. So the current conflict has been going back for a long time. Um, Russia has tried to exterminate uh, Ukrainian people, culture, language um, for almost 100 years or over. And so, you know, I didn't really know all that history. I just knew that when I went back in 2019, I saw all these young people loving their country. It's so patriotic. And I was just in awe of them. I was like, wow, you know, what's it like to really just love your country so much. And, and um, also they were just so creative. I met filmmakers, photographers, musicians, artists, painters. Uh, it was just amazing the, the energy that I felt and I was in Kiev. And so that was in 2019. I went back, uh, had the opportunity to go back in November of 2019 and uh, went to a little bit deeper, went to Lviv, went to Chernobyl uh, and toured that because you could, you could do that at the time safely. And so, it was just an amazing experience. And I met, you know, uh, someone who was on the show, uh, photographer Anastasia, 
who just took me on a photography tour. Sometimes I'll fill the, film these things solo and I'll reach out to someone locally and just kind of get them, work them into the show. And I saw she was a very talented photographer, young, hungry, uh, really just uh, professional. And I was like, hey, why don't you be my, let's try you as a videographer. And it turned out uh, she's incredibly talented. I took her on a couple of trips with us. And so really got connected and became good friends with her, got to know uh, through her, her family. And she was a refugee from 2014 from the Donbass region. So when things happened in 2021, or basically a year ago, um, when the Russia decided to invade Ukraine, I was pretty, pretty, uh, you know, well connected to Ukraine. And so I felt it deeply. I was really concerned uh, for Anastasia, for her family. She ended up getting out, going to Paris, being a refugee there, taking care of her little brother. Her mother is a doctor. So her, do her mother stayed behind to serve in uh, Kiev, just to serve the people. They need doctor. They need medical care. And her father, who was an IT businessman, um, is near the front now fighting. Um, and he's my age or older. And so, you know, basically, I was like, I got to I got to I got to help in some way. So my initial plan was just go to Paris where she is film there, assuming that she needed some work. And uh, and then I would go solo into Ukraine, uh, depending on conditions. And uh, basically, I ended up getting COVID in Paris. So I had to like shorten the trip. Uh, to Ukraine, but I was able to go in for four days. And Anastasia decided to go back for the first time since she had left months before. And um, she went on to Kiev. I only went into Lviv, which is on the western part. She went on to Kiev to reunite with her mother for um, a few days before returning to Paris to take care of her little brother. So that's what did it. And basically, it changed my life. I mean, many trips changed my life. Almost every trip changes my life. But um, if you asked me to rank you know, the top experiences, uh, this has to be at the top of it. I've never been to a place in wartime. I've never heard air raid sirens go off. I've never had to go to a bomb shelter. I never saw refugees. I've never had to cross a border, you know, with refugees trying to get back and witness firsthand the misery. Uh, and very important, the joy and inspiration that those people provided. Because frankly, like I said, I was extraordinarily depressed when it happened. And for some reason, I felt joy being there and I did not want to leave and I'm going back. And, and that's a common refrain I hear from people who've gone to Ukraine. I've, I've connected with some people who are humanitarians, ex-Marines, Americans. They don't want to leave. They want to go back. They want to keep helping. Uh, there's something about Ukraine and the Ukrainians and their struggle and their optimistic outlook that is contagious. And uh, I thank them for giving me a purpose bigger than myself, uh, bigger than even raw travel. And I thank you for joining us and uh, sharing that with us, Robert Rose. Uh, so your show is Raw Travel. It's about uh, eco-traveling. It's about volunteerism. It's about just doing good things. And uh, thank you. Thank you for giving us your firsthand experience about that. It was so passionate and so moving. And I thank you sincerely and uh, wish you all the happiness in your uh, future travels. So it's Raw Travel, uh, Robert Rose, and uh, we'll be definitely uh, keeping an eye on where you're going to be going. And thank you again for all you do. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Okay. Happiness to you. Happy journeys and safe travels. Be well. Thank you.